In today's video, I will be sharing with you every single fragrance I wore over the past week. If you're interested, then just keep watching. Before we get into the video, I do want to quickly introduce myself for those of you who may be new here. My name is Aisha. I make videos about fragrance, beauty, luxury, and lifestyle. If those are things you're interested in, please consider subscribing. And if you are a returning subscriber, hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I do these videos every couple of weeks and in them I come on in a very relaxed manner and we just talk about the fragrances I wore over the past week. The way that I do them is vlog style, meaning I come on every single day when I'm spraying my fragrance and let you guys know why I chose it, a little bit about the fragrance, and then we keep it moving. At the end of the video, I do tell you my three standout fragrances for the week, whether they be good or bad, and I let you know why, and that's pretty much it. So these are very relaxed videos, but you all seem to enjoy them. So. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the fragrances for this week. Good morning, y'all. Happy Sunday. So today I am wearing Bond Number no. 9 Tribeca. Get ready to go to church. And I've been wanting to wear this scent. It's a little bit cooler today, and I've been wanting to see how this does in cooler weather. It's not, like, cold, but right now it's in the 60s. And by the time we leave church, it'll probably be, like, low 70s. So, um, yeah, I'm excited to wear this. I've only worn it one or either once or twice. But um, to me, it kind of smells like <laughs> a more gourmand take on Baccarat Rouge 540. I know y'all don't like to hear that, but that's what it smells like to me. But like I said, I don't have a lot of experience wearing this. So um, the sweeter notes that come out are like praline and like hazelnut or some sort of sweet nutty scent. Um, so I'm hoping that I can smell more of that now that it's a little bit cooler but it smells really good y'all I love the way the smells is really well blended and yeah this is my fragrance for today hey y'all it's Sunday night so tonight I started out by applying this uh soap and glory smoothie star body smoothie star body buttercream and before I get into this I know a lot of you all know this already but for those of you who all who have never seen one of these videos from me if I have like a lotion or something that I layer purposefully because of the scent um, with the fragrance and I will share but I don't do that every night so if I don't show you a lotion or something you can just assume I use like my normal unscented or very lightly scented lotion so just FYI so tonight, anyway, I'm using the Smoothie Star Body Buttercream, and this has notes of pistachio, almond, and sweet vanilla. It smells so good. It smells delicious and yummy, quite edible, and I feel like the scent is pretty strong, so I typically only wear this at bedtime, but now that the temperature will be cooling down soon, I'm sure I'll wear it during the day at some point if I'm pairing it with something that's a little bit heavier. But yeah, this is... Um, what I started out with and then on top of it I layered BDK Velvet Tonka this is a beautiful almond and vanilla and Tonka scent it's so pretty I have done a video on this and I'm really glad I kept it because it, it wasn't like my favorite fragrance like I love the way it smelled but I didn't like how it performed on me but, you know, typically now I only wear it to bed. I really need to wear it out some more to see if the performance is still the same or if it's improved now that the bottle has sat. But anyway, I love the smell of this. It smells delicious um, without smelling like 100% food. It also has like some cherry nuances to it, even though cherry is not a note and a slight powdery touch. I love it. It's so cozy and comforting. And so that's why I picked it tonight. I just wanted more of a cozy scent. So this is my fragrance for tonight. Hey y'all, happy Monday. Today I am wearing Baccarat Rouge 540 X Straight de Parfum. And um, hopefully you would have seen my favorites video by now, but I feel like I've been reaching for this a lot lately. And I it had kind of sat on the back burner for a while. So I really wanted to wear it. I um, thought about wearing it yesterday, but I went for Tribeca. So I was like, you know what? Since I couldn't really decide between the two, I was like, okay, I wore Tribeca yesterday and I'll wear Baccarat Rouge today to work. And I think this is really good for work. It lasts all day. It's pleasant, like nobody ever complains about it. I don't go overboard with my sprays, um, but if you overspray a little bit, I don't think it would hurt, but I don't go overboard with this one. I don't feel like I need to, especially not for work. But anyway, um, yeah, 
everybody's already talked about the way this smells. So I don't really feel like that's <laughs> something we need to talk about. But I did want to share with you all that I was wearing it and why I chose it for today. So yeah, this is one of the most versatile fragrances. Well, actually, I think the EDP is probably a little bit more versatile because um, I sometimes feel like the extra is a little bit too heavy when it's super hot if you're going to be outside. But the EDP, I feel like it's a little bit more versatile. But I've always loved the X-Trade more, and I actually had the X-Trade before I got the EDP. So this is what I'm wearing for today. Hey, y'all. It's Monday night. I'm showered, and I just spray on pink sugar for the night. This is a very sweet fragrance that I feel like everybody has smelled. But for some reason, I just felt like wearing it tonight. Every now and again, I get, like, the inkling to wear this, and so I did. It's very sweet. It's fun. It can be kind of sickeningly sweet. What is that? the hell oh no my bottle was fading off of my blanket look at that Ugh. cheap well that was a mistake <laughs> that's so annoying um yeah my bottle just faded onto my blanket for some reason i guess it's like leaking well that's annoying I do really like this fragrance, but I did not know it was leaking. So that, I don't know why it's leaking red either. But that's definitely from the bottle that was not there before. Anyway, I picked this tonight because I just felt like smelling sweet. But now I'm super annoyed about it. Not super annoyed, but you know, a little annoyed that I'm going to have to get this out. So anyway, this is what I'm wearing for tonight. Good morning, y'all. It's pretty early. I'm getting ready to go to Pilates before I take my kids to school. So today, for this part of the day anyway, I'm wearing Oh My Beach by Lolita Lampica. Uh, this is a peach Bellini scent. Now, I did have one of my loyal supporters ask me how I was able to wear so many fragrances during the day. And I told her in the comments that I spray on fragrance after I shower. So I take two showers a day. And then sometimes I'll spray on fragrance in the morning, like when I wake up, if I'm going to do something before I take my shower. So uh, that's what I'm doing right now. Now, generally I won't spray anything first thing in the morning if I can still smell my fragrance from the night before. And I have to be honest, I could still slightly smell pink sugar that I sprayed on last night, but not a lot like if i put my nose in my arm i could smell some slight sweetness to my arm but because it's not like anything that i would smell moving around i went ahead and still sprayed this on this morning and i think this is similar enough to pink sugar that they wouldn't clash um so that's just a tip if you guys are interested in how i get to wear so many of my fragrances during the week <laughs> Um, but yeah, after this, after I come back home and everything, I'll be taking a shower and that's when I'll spray on like my real fragrance for the day. Um, uh, and I chose not to respray pink sugar because sometimes I will respray what I wore the night before if I can kind of smell it, but I just want to add a little bit more. Um, but I didn't want to respray pink sugar because that's a little bit too much for me. Like first thing in the morning, especially if I'm going to go work out because I'll smell it like just too much. It'll annoy me. So anyway. <laughs> Long story long, I'm wearing Oh My Beach right now by Lolita Lampica. Hey y'all, it's still Tuesday and my fragrance for the actual day is Zerjoff Donald Bianca. This is a beautiful spicy vanilla with some fruity and some floral tones to it as well. This is one of my like pretty girl scents, elegant scents, very feminine scents, but still exciting to me. This is one that I love. And um, I just picked it today because I just wanted to wear it. I have no real reason for it besides the fact that it was on a video that I, <laughs> that I filmed today. But other than that, I had no real reason for picking this. I just wanted to wear it. Hey, y'all. It's Tuesday night, and I just took a shower. And tonight, I'm wearing Lavender Extreme by Tom Ford. This is a spicy lavender scent. It is quite aromatic. It's not very sweet, but there is something in it, either like vanilla or tonka, that evens out the lavender. It's still mainly a lavender scent, which I know can be difficult for some people. And initially when I smelled this, I just thought it smelled too masculine. But after I sprayed it on my skin for the first time, after about five minutes, I was in love. So I would say that if you're interested in Lavender Extreme, you should definitely try it on your skin and see what you think. Because for the longest, I thought this was too masculine just smelling it out of the bottle. 
Anyway, I picked this tonight because it's been on my mind that I wanted to wear it. And I figured tonight would be a great night to do that because I need to like finish some stuff on my computer. So it'll probably be a little bit of a late night for me. So that means I have more time to smell this beautiful calming fragrance. <laughs> so anyway, this is what I'm wearing for tonight. Good morning, y'all. Happy Wednesday. So I have to be quick because I need to get out of here, but I am wearing Essential Parfums the Must. I have talked about this fragrance a lot. It's just very light, kind of clean, slightly fruity floral musk, um, but it's mainly just musk. Um, but I love this, and I am wearing this to take the kids to school, and then I have Pilates. So this is what I'm wearing for this part of the day. Hey y'all, it is still Wednesday and I just showered for the day and I started out by applying this lotion. This is the Love Beauty and Planet Takuma Butter and Vanilla Lotion. This is a vanilla, but it is a nutty vanilla. It's not super sweet. It's just more so nutty, um, but it does smell really good. So I started out by using this lotion and on top I applied the Seven Virtues Santal Vani. This is a sandalwood dominant scent. The sandalwood in this is not a creamy sandalwood on the wood it's kind of more of a not necessarily sharp but it smells dry like natural sandalwood uh like pencil shavings or wooden cuttings <laughs> i don't know <laughs> um but yeah it smells like that there is vanilla in here as well but if you're buying this thinking it's a mainly a vanilla scent you'll be disappointed because this is mainly sandalwood the vanilla just really helps to round it out and in my opinion it helps it be a little bit more feminine. Um, not saying this is a feminine only scent. I actually think it's unisex, but I feel like this is very similar to Santal 33 from Lalabo, but this one to me is lighter. And in my opinion, it's more feminine. Santal 33 on me smells too strong. Um, I don't like that scent on me, although I like it on others. So anyway, um, that's what it smells like to me. And I picked this today because I didn't really know what I wanted to wear. I just decided while I was in the shower, I knew I wanted something that was kind of fall appropriate because we're having really nice weather. It's not like cold yet, but <laughs> it is cooler than it has been. So I wanted something that's fall appropriate. And today's early release day. So after school, I'll be taking my kids somewhere to do something fun. So I figured this would be a nice scent that I would enjoy and that would not be overpowering and just kind of energizing. So yeah, this is my fragrance for today. Hey y'all, it's Wednesday night and tonight I'm wearing Replica Lipstick On. This is an older fragrance that has been discontinued and I feel like I talk about it a lot so I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on it. But basically it's a waxy kind of vintage cosmetic smell with Tonka and a little bit of smells like cherry in there as well. But um, yeah, I picked this tonight because I just needed a fragrance hug and this one is familiar and comforting. So this is what I'm wearing for tonight. Good morning, happy Thursday. So I am running out of the house right now, but I did want to share with you all what I'm wearing. Today I am trying out this House of Siage Brain Power. This is a perfume wellness booster. <laughs> It's meant to either amplify your fragrances or to be used alone. And they have these like reasons you should use them. So for instance, I'm using brain power today and it's supposed to help like keep you mentally sharp. I don't know about all that, but this is what I'm wearing. I've never used it before, so I don't have much to say about it, except it does smell good right now. Um, but that's pretty much all I have to say as of right now. I did use it alone. So this is what I'm wearing for now, just to take my kids to school and probably work out. Hey y'all, it's Thursday. I am showered and dressed for today. And the fragrance that I am wearing today is Intoxicated by Killian. Now, if you've heard of this fragrance, you're probably surprised that I'm wearing it in September in Florida. Oh, actually it's October. What am I talking about? <laughs> in October in Florida. However, this is an in the house day for me. And I've just really been wanting to wear this fragrance. It's not one that I wear very often. Let me tell you how it smells. It is a coffee and cardamom scent. And to me, both of those notes are the most prominent prominent notes in this fragrance. It does have some woody tones too. So this is kind of like a darker, deeper scent. Typically something I would only wear on a cold day. But honestly, I've been thinking about wearing this a lot lately. I was just like waiting for it to get colder. But I was like, you know what? Today is a an admin day for me. I just need to do a lot of computer work and do stuff around my house. And by the time I actually leave the house again, this would have worn down so much that I don't think it would be too heavy because I know some people wear what they want when they want. But for me, certain scents, if they're too heavy and it's hot, 
they bother me. And once I get bothered by a fragrance, it's really hard for me to pick that fragrance up again. So I have to be careful with that because I don't want to turn myself off from a fragrance because I didn't pick the best time for me to wear it. <laughs> anyway, I'm rambling, but I just really wanted to wear this today. So I wore it. <laughs> so this is what I'm going to wear for uh, this Thursday. Hey y'all, it's Thursday night and tonight my fragrance is Mugler Angel Muse. This is the original EDP. This I have not worn in a long time, but it smells so good. Um, so this is more of a hazelnut chocolate take on the angel dna you definitely can smell angel dna in here though but it's not as loud and pronounced to me this one is an easier version to wear and definitely more sweet more gourmand and it gives nutella vibes to me it doesn't smell exactly like nutella but it definitely smells like nutella mixed with that patchouli from angel and i love it now i chose to wear this tonight because i heard somebody talk about it today <laughs> Like on YouTube, I was listening to a YouTube video and I heard somebody mention it and I realized I haven't worn this in I don't even know how long y'all, but I do enjoy it. It's just not one that I reach for <clears throat> and my husband went out tonight. So I figured why not wear it tonight? Because sometimes I don't like wearing super strong scents at night and I do consider this to be pretty strong because I don't want to bother him because sometimes, you know, these are just too much for nighttime. But since I'm here by myself... <laughs> I can wear what I want and by the time he gets home it would have faded um so I'm not really concerned that'll be too strong for him in the bed um so yeah anyway this is what I'm wearing for tonight hey y'all happy Friday so I'm getting ready to take the kids to school and my take the kids to school scent is going to be iced coffee by ganache I have not worn this in forever like a really long time it's like in the back where I keep my ganache perfumes are kind of like I'll show y'all real quick no judgment okay so down here this is in my closet still but down here I have like travel sprays travel spray sets it's not really well organized but I have some other bigger bottles that won't fit in my collection or ones that I don't wear very often or like certain ones like these Skylar ones I pretty much only wear to work out and stuff like that so they're kind of down here because I don't have enough space in my collection for all my fragrances but anyway the this one was like way in the back back there <laughs> And that's not the only reason I haven't worn it, but it's definitely one of the reasons that I haven't worn it. But the, the main reason is that I typically only reach for this in cooler weather. This smells like coffee <laughs> with mint and cardamom. And it smells very literal. So it's not something I wear very often, but I do really enjoy it. And I find that when I wear it early in the morning, it kind of gives me that pick me up that I get from the smell of coffee. So yeah, that's what I'm wearing. Um, hopefully I don't smell like I spill coffee on myself, but if I do, it's okay. <laughs> Maybe I'll wake some of the other parents up as well. So anyway, um, I just reached for this today because I wanted a pick me up. This morning has not been the best of mornings. Um, so yeah aromatherapy anyway this is what i'm wearing for now hey y'all it's still friday i am showered and dressed for the day and the fragrance that i'm wearing today is this one this is sugar by frank Beauclay. this is a newer fragrance to me actually all these fragrances on this tray are ones that i feature in my birthday fragrance haul so i have them sitting here on this tray um but anyway this is a newer fragrance. This is only, only my second time wearing it. Um, you all will be hearing more about this probably in a video coming up soon. But what I will say for now is that this is kind of a, um, kind of smells like a marshmallow scent, but not the extremely sweet juvenile type marshmallow. It smells like marshmallow with some greenness to it or something earthy <laughs> to it um it's actually quite interesting so this is what i am wearing for today and i picked this just because i've been wanting to wear this and um i just decided to wear it today <laughs> no true reason it's just you know this is just the way i was moved today no real reason at all so yeah this is what i'm wearing hey y'all it's friday night i just showered and i started out by applying the strawberry milk body lotion from quail nera I use this quite often, so if you watch these videos, I know you've seen this before, but it kind of smells like a strawberry cream, a creamy strawberry or a strawberry milkshake. Um, so I started out with this.
Next, I went in with this fragrance. This is the Ice Cream Shop fragrance from Ganache Parfums. If you've heard of Ganache Parfums before, then you may know that they are a indie house. Um, they have closed down, opened up, closed down, opened up so many times. That's why I don't really talk about them because I never know if they're open or closed and they discontinue since left and right. So I don't even know if this is still available, but if it is, I will link it for you all. But it smells literally like an ice cream shop. So not like straight ice cream, but like you get the smells of like ice cream, like toasted uh, waffle cones or whatever too, all kind of mixed into one. And it is quite potent like most of the ganache perfumes that i've tried but um so yeah i went in with this and on top of that i sprayed burberry her this is the original edp i have done this combo before of these two fragrances i didn't talk about how burberry her smells but this is like a, to me it smells like a very airy strawberry scent um yeah <laughs> Not doing a very good job but i feel like everybody sm smelled this before but anyway um i've done this combo before because i smelled the burberry her elixir when it first came out and i really liked it but i am trying not to buy flankers because i just find that i either end up using one or, or the other i don't typically use both flankers so i'm trying not to buy flankers so i tried to create my own little concoction and that's why i um ended up trying these together because to me the Burberry Her Elixir kind of smells like an ice cream take on Burberry Her. Um, so yeah, I do really like these and I do think it smells similar to Burberry Her Elixir. Now I've only tried Burberry Her Elixir one time so like don't quote me y'all. Don't come for me if y'all don't think they smell alike because I've only smelled it one time. This is just what I think is similar and it's kind of giving me that Burberry Her fix Burberry Her Elixir Fix that I was looking for. So yeah, this is what I am wearing for tonight. Good morning, y'all. Happy Saturday. I need to be quick about this today because I'm getting ready to go to a fall festival. It has a corn maze and pumpkin patch and stuff for the kids. Um, so yeah, this is what I'm wearing today. This is What About Pop from the House of Ooh. This is a caramel popcorn scent. Only my second time wearing it, so I'm not really ready to share my thoughts on it yet, but I figured this would be perfect for the occasion because obviously caramel popcorn just screams fall, right? And I'm going to a fall festival. So yeah, this is what I am wearing for today. Hey y'all, it's Friday night and tonight I'm wearing Rouge Smoking from BDK. This is a um, spicy kind of cherry vanilla scent that to me kind of reminds me of like a cherry Dr. Pepper or something. It kind of has that soda type vibe to it and I picked this just because I've been wanting to wear it recently so I figured what better night than tonight so this is what I'm wearing tonight so I have to say I had an extremely good fragrance week this week I was really happy with most of the fragrances I chose and I feel like they went really well really well with my up and down moods this week so I do have three standout fragrances to share with you all. The first of which is Bond Number no. 9 Tribeca. So the reason I picked this one as a standout is because I think I had only worn this either once or twice before this week. And this time when I wore it, I feel like I really fell in love with it and kind of discovered more of it. When I wore this fragrance in this video, I just said it smelled like a um, more gourmand version of Baccarat Rouge 540. And I do think it opens like that, but as this fragrance wears, it really becomes its own fragrance. And it is a soft, but sweet-ish gourmand. So this is a gourmand for people that don't love gourmands, but they kind of want to like experience it. You get what to me smells like a sweet nuttiness from this fragrance. So I don't know if hazelnut is a note, that's what it kind of smells like to me, but it smells like a hazelnut caramel type mix. Um, it is quite soft and I actually think it's quite unique and I don't always get down with hazelnut to be completely honest but in this fragrance it's done so well. It's so well blended that I feel like I have a hard time picking out the notes in it but as I wore it like I said it became its own thing and I no longer smelled the Baccarat in it. I will say that opening it does smell like Baccarat <laughs> but but with that extra sweetness from those gourmand notes. So Tribeca is the very first standout this week. 
The second standout is Oma Beach from Lolita Limpica. And the reason this is a standout is because I wore it in a different way and I thoroughly enjoyed it. I wore this to take my kids to school and then I went to Pilates. And this is my Peach Bellini scent. Typically, I only wear this to like brunch. <laughs> <laughs> but I wore it to go work out and it smelled so good while I was working out like I could not stop smelling myself but it wasn't strong it wasn't overpowering but it was just nice and sweet and delightful and I smell really good and I actually feel like it helped me during my workout so <laughs> this has to be the second standout and then the third standout is Lavender Extreme from Tom Ford I love this fragrance it is it's calming but at the same time it's quite interesting the lavender in this is just so well done Sorry, you guys probably hear my kids, but you know, if you watch these videos, you're gonna hear my kids. So. <laughs> um, I feel like it's just so well done. The notes are just blended up so well. And I thoroughly enjoyed wearing this the night that I wore it. And my husband actually complimented me on this fragrance. If you all just started watching my channel, you may know that my husband doesn't always compliment me on fragrances. He, he just says I always smell good. So when I get a compliment from him, I have to hold on tight to it. It really means something, like it stands out to him. And I know a lot of ladies think this is masculine, but like I said, my husband complimented me on it. I don't think it's masculine once you actually spray it on. Smelling on a spray car is not gonna give you what this fragrance gives you on skin. So if you like lavender, I would highly suggest checking this one out. So those were the fragrances that I wore over the past week. Let us know in the comments down below, what was your standout fragrance that you wore over the past week? Did you have any like major wins or any major fails that you discovered? Let us know so we can all share in the discussion. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also make sure you're subscribed and you have your notification bells on so that you don't miss a video from me. If you're not already following me on Instagram, follow me over there. When I'm not doing these videos, I do share my scent of the day a lot on Instagram. So definitely check me out. Check out my Instagram stories. That's where I'm most active. I hope you all enjoy this video as much as I enjoy making it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.